There is no amount of excuse uh, to explain the reckless and insensitive decision taken by the board. The fact of the matter, the bottom line is that uh, Brian had resigned from the utility. And he cited reasons for that. And I don't think we must use, in fact, the minister was correct to reject the, or the payment of 30 million for Brian, who has been in the utility for a year. It was unexplainable that you could pay 30 million to an individual who has been in the utility for just a year. So we mustn't undermine the fact that there's a huge interest and the mobilization that our government is a lax luster when it comes to corruption. And we can't allow that. And therefore, this decision is not just reckless but insensitive. When Brian left, he left the utility under a cloud after the release of the public protest report. And he took a conscious decision that, uh, given some of the observations that are made in the report about him, he decided to take voluntarily to resign from the utility. And he, cit he cited good governance, he cited corporate governance, he cited in the public interest. And none of those issues have been dealt with, although we understand and appreciate that the public protest report is still under review. But we think it's rather insensitive, uh, appreciating that there is generally a, a huge amount of interest and allegations of rampant corruption, both perceived or real. And I think the executive of ESCOM has got to account for this. discuss this further is uh, COPE spokesperson, Mr. Dennis Bloom. He joins us uh, live from Pretoria. Good afternoon to you, sir, and thank you for joining us here on ANN7. Just your initial reaction to the news that broke this morning that Brian Malefe would be uh, back in his uh, previous position at ESCOM. No, thank you very much for having us. Uh, no, we are not surprised as the Congress of the People uh, with uh, Brian going back uh, to ESCOM. Because uh, it is very clear now that uh, the power is no more in union buildings. The power is in Saxon world. Uh, Brian was uh, two months ago deployed uh, by Saxon world to parliament uh, for, for, for him to become uh, the, the minister of finance. But uh, luckily, uh, there was people with conscience uh, in uh, Lituli House who have said no. Uh, this thing can't happen. Now uh, he's back uh, to 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 do his dirty work for uh, for Section World. We are we we are saying that the Minister uh, of uh, Public Enterprises, Lynn Brown, has a lot to answer here. In the first place, was this post advertised? Uh, how is it that Brian? After two, he have resigned from there. Now, if a person resigned, uh, the post must be uh, re-advertised and uh, interviews must be conducted. We want to ask the minister, was this process followed or not? This is not the banana republic where people can do whatever they want. Uh, uh, maybe... Uh, they want to turn this uh, 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 South Africa into a banana republic. But we will never allow that uh, this uh, to happen because many people have paid dearly with their lives for this freedom. And Brian and uh, his, his, his people will never, never, ever uh, 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 get it right uh, to play with this freedom that we fought for. But we are saying the minister... Uh, is the political head of the department. She must uh, explain, and she must explain properly, but we further demand that the minister must stop it uh, immediately, like she has stopped the 30 million rent uh, 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 payout to uh, Brian. Uh, she must also stop uh, this one, because we have uploaded her to say that, yeah, uh, no, at least... She has put a, a foot down. She must also put a foot down now uh, in this one. Spokesperson, I just want you to elaborate uh, on comments that you've made with regards to power being uh, at Saxon World. Could you just elaborate on what exactly you mean by that? And also uh, that Brian Malefe is back to do his dirty work at Saxon World. Just elaborate on the comments that you have made here and what sort of proof they are or is in this regard. No, what we are saying is that the state capture report fingered Brian very clearly, uh, uh, Tulima Donzela's report, very clearly that he is uh, part and parcel. 
he is very closely linked with the Guptas. So that's why we are saying Saxon world have become uh, uh, now uh, union buildings. That is what we, we, we are saying as the Congress of the People. We are saying that how can a person that was fingered by uh, this uh, uh, state capture report been taken to parliament? We have objected to, parliament, uh, to, to his deployment to parliament, but the ANC didn't want to listen. Now he is back again. How is it possible? We are making a mockery out of parliament. The highest, you know, it is a very big privilege to become a member of parliament. But now we are playing with that, with that, with that. Two months after he was uh, sworn in, he's back now again. He resigned. What are we making out of parliament? How will the, the, the younger generation respect parliament to say that, hey, uh, I'm going to parliament to represent my people? This was clearly, clearly a strategy uh, to, to get Brian into parliament to get him as the minister of finance. But we must say that we are grateful for, 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 for leaders uh, in the ANC uh, who have stood their grounds to say no, in, not only in the ANC, but also uh, in the alliance. We, we are very much grateful that they, they stood their grounds. Otherwise, Brian Mulife could have been the Minister of Finance as we speak now. Person, with regards to, to Minister Lynn Brown, she is said to hold a press briefing later today. What are your expectations and what are you hoping to hear from the Minister? Also, if you're not satisfied with what you hear from her, uh, will COPE be taking any further action in this regard? No, the Congress of the People will, 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 will closely listen and watch what um, Lynn Brown, uh, the Minister, is saying. But we are saying... We are demanding that uh, 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 the minister must block and stop this uh, appointment uh, of uh, 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 Brian Mulife because it's illegal. Uh, labor laws are saying that when there's a vacancy, the, the post must be advertised. It can't be filled. It's not a, a, a Mickey Mouse business, this. This is a CEO position. You can't do it. Even if you are a, 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 a sweeper in a department, when there's a vacancy, that post is being advertised. And not just a, 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 a person is being taken from parliament, uh, from uh, uh, ESCOM to parliament, from parliament back to ESCOM. It, 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 there's a lot of things to, to answer. We are expecting from the minister to announce today that she has stopped uh, this uh, appointment of uh, uh, Brian Molefe back to ESCOM and uh, the post uh, will be advertised. That is what we, are, what we will expect from the minister. Uh, the minister must do that today uh, and nothing else. Well, thank you very much, uh, spokesperson, for your time and unpacking those details for us. We appreciate you speaking to us here on ANN7. That was Coke's, uh, COPE spokesperson, uh, Dennis Bloom, joining us live uh, from Pretoria, just giving us uh, the latest uh, views with regards to Brian Malefe, who is all set to return to his post uh, as ESCOM CEO. That news broke this morning. Stay tuned to ANN7. We are going to keep you up to date with the latest details.